Little Badger, Terror of the Seven Seas, written by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Yulin Fan. Little Badger, Terror of the Seven Seas. For Diane DeAndre. It was the time between daylight and dusk. Little Badger wobbled and waddled along the forest floor path. Little Badger, why are you walking like that? Woodchuck asked. I'm a pirate, Little Badger said. I have to wobble and waddle so I can keep my balance on the heaving deck of my pirate ship. Woodchuck chuckled. You are not a pirate. If you were, you would have a striped jersey and a cocked hat. But Little Badger knew something Woodchuck didn't. Old Badger had told him. He smiled and wobble waddled on. Little Badger, why are you walking like that? Raccoon asked. I'm a pirate, that's why, Little Badger said. Raccoon teetered and twitched his ring-tailed tail. You can't be a pirate. If you were, you would have a patch over one eye. Little Badger smiled and wobble-waddled on. Crow swooped down from the giant oak. Little Badger, why are you walking like that? Because I'm a pirate, Little Badger said. Crow squinted, beady-eyed. I don't think so. If you were a pirate, you would have a parrot, green as grass and wild as wind, perched on your shoulder. Little Badger smiled a little pirate smile and wibble waddled on. Little Badger, why are you walking like that? Chipmunk stood on his back legs. Because I'm a pirate, of course, Little Badger said. Chipmunk, chipmunk chittered. So where's your pirate ship? If you were a pirate, would you would have a great ship with fat white sails. There'd be a skull and crossbones flapping from the tallest mast, and you'd be the terror of the seven seas. Really? Little Badger laughed in a quiet pirate. Har, har, har. He knew something Chipmunk didn't. He knew that he could be anything he wanted to be and do anything he wanted to do as long as he used his imagination and was home in time for supper. Old Badger had told him. Little Badger wobble-waddled until he came to the clearing where the old hollow log lay and where the blue bells were thick as bees on a honey hive. Old Badger had come to wave goodbye. Steer clear of the rocks, Little Badger, he called. I will, Little Badger said. I wish you would come too, Old Badger, but pirates don't take passengers. Then he pulled his striped jersey over his head, cocked his cocked hat, snapped on his eye patch, stroked his parrot that was green as grass and wild as the wind, and stepped aboard his pirate ship. He hoisted the fat white sails and ran the skull and crossbones up to flap from the tallest mast. Don't forget to be in time, home in time for supper, my little badger, old badger called. I won't forget. Goodbye, old badger, little badger said. And before you could say, heave ho me hearties, little badger sailed off across an ocean of bluebells to be the terror of the seven seas.